Coming up this week on The Choice. Muzzle loader, shotgun, rifle, crossbow, archer. It's our choice. Welcome to this week's choice. And the choice is, I want to get out of the corn. Oh my gosh, whose idea was that? <laughs> Where's RJ? We lost him in the cornfield. <sighs> Knock it off. Oh boy. This week on The Choice, we're going to Broken Arrow Outfitters. Yeah, we're going up with Uvi Handler out in Nebraska. And you know what's really cool about Nebraska is you can get no, your... No, what is? You can get your tags <laughs> over the internet or something, so you don't have to wait to play in this lotto system, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which makes it tough, because a lot of hunters today, they apply for these states, and they find out at the last minute they don't have it, they and start to call around. Do? Right. Yeah, they start to call around, and they realize that, man... Everything's booked. And we've got a great show. We've got October, which it was really hot when we were down there in October, but then we had Posse, Jake, and Travis go back again. Yep. Late season. In a muzzleloader season. colder in a muzzleloader season. With so we've got a lot pursuit. of great footage we want to show you. So let's get into the first encounter. actually you with a doe that got a little close. Well, you know, we love close encounters. Yeah, okay, leave it at of that. The <laughs> third kind. <laughs> do, 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 I see you too. Put that remote down. The choice will be right back. What are you doing? Welcome back to the choice. Did you ever see the movie Children of the Corn? She'd make a scary one, wouldn't she? <laughs> Look at this. Hey, now let's join John LaCourt from Nikon. You know, you know, hey John, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, you know, you had a deer. The deer was right underneath you. And you could have took him, but he was a little too small. You know what I'm talking about, Johnny? Hey, you know, hey. He's going to beat you up. Yeah, well, let's check this footage out, because the deer is right there. John. <laughs> we love you, John. I'm John LaCour with Nikon. 
We're here in Nebraska with the Archer's Choice Sponsors Challenge. Hunting with Broken Arrow Outfitters. It's a little warmer than normal, but they've been seeing some good bucks use this river bottom. So we're hoping to catch one moving from its bedding area. We'll get settled and see what happens. Freddie and I up in this cow pasture, and all I have to say is, I smell jerky. I smell jerky. <laughs> this is the second afternoon at Broken Arrow in Nebraska. It's like 84 degrees outside. We're dying of sweat. We just walk like, what, 20 minutes to get in here. We got in our blind, and we have company. Show them a company. Okay, getting up. Before we got in the blind, we tried to scare all the cows away. They didn't run away. In the blind, I can get up and wave my hands, they run away, but I think I've got another secret that will make them run fast. Beef jerky. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm gonna do to you. What do you mean you're not gonna give me the best spot? I heard you. I heard Ralph. Put him back up. I'm tired. Get him up there. Get him out. I'll show you. You better get him a good spot. Alright, guys. Let's see you soon. Come on. I wanna eat my knife. See you guys. Let's check out as Vicky has a deer sneeze, I think, at her. That's what we said tonight. Maybe they should get in that ground blind. And I mean, we can go up and, and put a blind in here, too. We could have done this, like we did use it for caribou camp. This was the field. This was the corner where Freddie and I were sitting. These guys were over at this other gap. They haven't planted they all, they all kind of went, See this scar here? This would be like the water tank, and they went out that way. Nothing's planted here. No, there was, was nothing planted. The alfalfa was over the here. And this, this afternoon, we're sitting here on a hedgerow of cedar trees. It's, it's finally not 80 degrees. The last two days, we've had about 80 degree weather. We've had some cloud cover. Hopefully it stays, look like it's starting to kind of break apart on us. Like I said, it's cooler today, so hopefully they'll move a little sooner. There's a good breeze blowing and we're hoping that maybe something will come by us here. And we're a little further away from the cows today, so hopefully they don't bother us either.
choice. We have no discrimination on size. We have Vicky corn and we have Ralph corn. I don't see any discrimination. Now we want to show you some footage of what happened to our McKinsey deer target. We had it out overnight at the cabin and during the middle of the night, another deer came and attacked it. Look what he did to it. Well, this morning we went up to go hunting and um, now that we're back, I need to show you something. <laughs> Uvi said that, you know, be careful because there's deer all over here. Well, this is what's left of our McKinsey mule deer D target. Check this out. A buck had to come in last night and literally rip everything apart. Look where he gored it. Here, 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 there. Here's his tine came here. He pushed, you could see where he came in with his hoofs and pushed the head towards here, here. Ripped, no, he broke. He broke. He broke my rack off. He hit this thing, he shoved sticks in here. Tines here, tines here. Oh, this is not good. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the choice. choice. Being pretty corny today. Get you, it, corn? You feel my pain. Get it, corn? 24 okay. seven, I live with this woman. Well, now let's, let's get into Jake Beam's, posse member Jake Beam, as he goes on his first ever mule deer hunt. And with Uvi at Broke Winter Outfitters, well, I, <laughs> you, you got to take it. <laughs> For the mule deer hunting up here, it's cold, it's snowing, it's been snowing all day. And um, we're hunting alfalfa, and getting the deer coming to a food source. So deer in the field already, there's six little bucks on the other side of the alfalfa field. Hopefully it'll work out for us. I'm just gonna sit and sit and hope. Cedar, so now we're swinging around, see what we can do. <laughs> Jake, what are you doing? Sucking a little too much wind there? Go down, go down, come on, come on. I got him, I smoked him. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> Seventy-four yards with a one-power Nikon scope. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. First mule deer ever. First one. Yeah. Oh. We gave him about ten minutes um, just to make sure that he was done, and, and now we're going to get him, and I can't wait. <laughs> Well, here he is. I mean, Uwe Handler's got the mule deer. He came into the field at 3.15. We saw him from 
five, six, seven hundred yards away, all the way across the field. And Nebraska is the place to be. Like I said, Uvi and Broken Arrows got it. On, RJ, honey. I got him over here. I, Come you on. found him? Come on. Come here. <laughs> you talk oh. about children of the corn. <laughs> Welcome back to the choice. Oh, sorry, we lost you in that cornfield there. That was fun though, huh? <laughs> Okay, so we really didn't lose him. No, we so didn't. So don't we're email playing. us and tell us that we yeah. lost our no, child. No, we did not okay. lose RJ. We're just having fun. <laughs> now but. we're going to get back to Nebraska late season yep. with posse member Travis Allen. Yep, and they're you know, it's the muzzleloader season, and they were literally covered up with a lot of deer. They had cold temperatures, made the deer move, not like what we had, you know, early right. in the, on the year. but. Uh, and, you know, we have to say it, and it, we were so mean to you on, on previous shows about calling you AKA Buckethead that we apologize for ever letting anyone know that we call you Buckethead. Should we roll the footage? Yeah, let's see Buckethead. <laughs> let's go back in the corn. <laughs> Come on, let's go hide. Travis will kill us. Down to the last night in Nebraska, where hopefully another mature buck will come out like Jake's. If not, we're going to try to take a mealy doe. Our, our tag's good for either sex. And so we're sitting here tonight. Same thing, we got her up off a of field, and if a deer should come out of the bedding from our east and head in, give us, hopefully, inside 150 shot. Travis, I think your head might have been skylined. There she lays. It's a big doe. Man, it's a big doe. There's just a big old muley, big old muley doe. Passed through her. We've been hunting here for a few days now with Uvi Handler of Broken Arrow Outfitters in here, Sutherland, Nebraska. And the deer hunt is just phenomenal. Just phenomenal. We've seen, what'd you say, Jake? Three, 400 deer? we've seen in a couple days. I mean, just deer everywhere. The bigger bucks have been staying, they've been laying a little low, needless to say. And uh, these deer have been hitting food sources because it's been cold. But uh, it's a perfect hunt. Ubi Handler, Broken Arrow Outfitters, they know how to run business, I'll tell you that. Well, it's a good thing that, you know, Travis and Jake, they had a good time down there and they didn't have 80 degrees like we did. They, yeah, we didn't have closer to 90 closer degrees. Closer to 90 degrees, yeah. And you know, I mean, they proved, you, you saw the activity in those fields. I mean, Uvi and the guys, they, they know what's going on. They have their food plots. They have all this, the food source the, from, from the rivers up to the prairies, and you know, to right. the well, open well, areas we for were the mule there, deer. When we were there at the end of October, beginning of November, what we were running into is it was just the deer weren't coming out until after sh no. shooting time. Yeah. I mean, and, and that's the thing. I mean, we saw some good outlines of, of animals out How about there. Driving Trust from, me, we from, did, but. From one of the cabins over to the lodge. Oh my we were like, gosh. <sighs> but yeah, but. What are you gonna do? 90 degrees, early November, animals aren't gonna move. No, There's no, nothing not. you could do. No. But thanks, Uvi, and thanks Broken Arrow Outfitters, because we really did have a blast. We did. And we are going back. Okay. For sure. I'll get a big deer. We'll see. Yeah, okay. Anyways, we'd like to thank you for making your choice. The choice. And we'll see you next week. Maybe. Do, 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 do.